So I want to play some Iron Lad Galactus. Miniaturized Lab might be one of the worst locations for a Galactus list because you can't lock it down with Spider-Man. Okay, never mind. I stand corrected. I said that's one of the worst locations. The game said, hold my squirrels. This is a tricky game. Okay. Seems like a slightly better play. Now I lose in Sanctorum to Captain Marvel. I also have priority right here. So if they Shang-Chi me, then I lose, but I kind of just hope they don't have Shang-Chi here, I think. And I think they will battle for Baxter Building. If they have Shang-Chi, they have it. What do they have? Doctor Doom, that's another way to add power to every location. All right, I wasn't super confident on that one. I could Iron Lad roll a 50-50 on Spider-Man. It's probably worth it. I like a 50-50. I snap for 50-50s. And that's exactly why. Because we win. A, ooh, the Black Bolt. Black Bolt tries to take a card from me. That's just gonna take a rock every time. And this beats Shang-Chi. If I just want to play Wave plus Death. So this beats exactly Shang-Chi. I think I'll just play that and stay in it here. What do they have, though? That's the question. Leader for my Death plus Stature? No! I would have won it if I played America plus Death. Oh, that's unfortunate. Well played, well played. What do they got for us here? Killmonger to free up some squirrels. And Shang-Chi. So Null is big, death is really cheap, which is hilarious. And unfortunately, Galactus is not playable here. Iron Lad hitting Absorbing Man does not work. Absorbing Man does not work. Pretty sure I want to drop a Spidey somewhere this turn. I think I just have to drop Spidey here and hope that they can't, hope that they play nothing there. Cool. Cool. So now they can't win in the hub. And we should be able to just drop Chavez here, or Null even, and lock in the Bugle. I think that's good enough. They can't Shang-Chi me again, because I didn't give them a Shang-Chi. They could have Jeff plus Squirrel Girl in the hub. But that's like pretty freaking random. Jeff is definitely possible, but then I win on differential. Wait, how did they have another Shang-Chi? They had a Shang-Chi from the hub? Wow. All right, well. We got squirrels, they got Shang-Chi. Let's make them play in Vormir, I think. I mean, at the very least, just waving into Vormir lets me play around Magneto. So that's always good. And I think with this, we get to snap here. Well. With Kang, I am a hundred percent snapping. Opponent. 
Okay, what do you got for me? Do you have Professor X? That could be fun. Mm-hmm. Well, glad I've got Kang. So now, we get into the mind games. What are they gonna do? What are we gonna do? What do they think we are gonna do? And... Honestly, Dr. Octopus into the compound is quite good against almost everything. Beats Professor X. And it doesn't matter where they Professor X, they won't be able to play into the compound next turn. I think this is a good enough play that asking them to snap here and uh, just seeing what happens seems like a lot of fun. So they are going to make the same play, Professor into Vormir. That wins Vormir. And I don't have a great way to grab a win in Elysium. Oh, they Spider-Man me in the compound. Oof. Okay, that's going to be rough. I think I lose here now. Yep, I mean, I can play two things. So I can play... Iron Lad and... Shang-Chi. But this, like, never wins. We tie here... We tie here, and I lose here, right? This puts me up to 14, 12, yeah. So I lose in the compound, or I tie in the compound, tie in Elysium, and then lose in Vormir. Alrighty. Unfortunate. We can go Doc Ock, Doc Ock. Free card off X Mansion this turn. That could be anything. That could be a lot of fun. They're going into the Vats with Mojo Demon. Those are both good cards to grab additional copies of. They get a dagger. We get Mohodok. I knew that the bonus card could totally screw me, but I had no clue. I was thinking, okay, maybe it's Central Park, or maybe it's a Squirrel Girl, or a Doctor Doom, or something, effectively making it a Central Park. But Modoc to make me rip my whole hand, and then Green Goblin, so I can definitely not Galactus? That's rough. That's rough. Dish 29. Let's see what we can dish out here. All right, no ramp. Not great. I mean, I think I play this just so that way I can potentially draw Iron Lad next turn, even though I don't think that's great for me either. I think this is just a loss. We drew our cards in the wrong order. I guess I could have gotten Kang out of my hand next turn. If we Dr. Octopus Destroyer... That could be really good, assuming they're not just a Spectrum list. I think it's just a bot playing a Spectrum deck, to be honest, and I think I'm going to get rocked by a bot to end the stream. Yeah, that's a bot. That's a bot play. Claw in the rightmost lane. That's a bot play. Can't even Shang-Chi that. <clears throat> so they've got Iron Man plus one other card.
What are they gonna do here? They're gonna drop Spectra middle? Or are they gonna drop Iron Man on the Iron left? Iron Man. I'll take it! Turn 6 Galactus! Salvaged! I wasn't willing to snap to that because I didn't want to let on that we could have a good play in case it wasn't a bot. Uh, but Claw left, or right rather, kind of bot behavior. And we'll grab a turn six Galactus drop victory to finish it off. Not too terrible, all things considered. That'll put me back up to rank 95. Just a few more ranks to go. Probably stream for a similar amount of time tomorrow but for today that's going to be it for today's stream i'm going to take care of some other work and stuff and that's it so thank you guys very much for watching i'm no lex given peace